Oh, welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're doing really well. Thanks very much for clicking on this video. It is gonna be a jam-packed episode today. I can just feel it. I'm here at the first op shop. We're gonna be basically going through these Gold Coast op shops to hopefully find great items to sell onto eBay. That's exactly what I do full time. I'm also gonna be doing the couple drop segment as well for another week, basically putting it out to my Instagram audience. For items I'm a little bit on the fence about. Don't know whether to go ahead and purchase or not. And I'll be bringing you those results a little bit later on in the video. So stick around, stick to the very end as well, because I'll show you the entire haul that I was able to purchase today. And um, I'm pretty excited. So let's go dive into it. We'll see what we can find. Righto guys, let's get into what is going to be a very big day. I've started in the shoe section, some familiar territory, the Nike Metcons to kick off the day. These are a very cool pair of shoes, but they are an Instagram viewer poll question because they are $25. Would you have purchased that for 25 bucks? This is another poll question as well. We've got the Dame 4s here, the Adidas basketball shoes. Really, really cool shoes in very good condition as well. Again, another $25 price tag on this one. Would you buy it? Let me know in the comments below. How about this, the Zebra print, Stussy. We've got a $7 price tag on this one. It's a size small, but I just really love the print. I, ha I could not walk away from that. No doubt somebody out there will be going ahead to purchase that one on my eBay store very, very soon. I'm thinking about 30 bucks for that one. Hey, the hat section as well absolutely came through for me. Have a look at this Rugby Union World Cup 2003 Australia hat. I'm going to push about 30 bucks on that one as well. These hats tend to go pretty well for me, so I'm always having a look in the hat section. This Miami Heat hat as well. New Era is the brand, and when you're buying your hat, so I, I tend to try to look for the New Era brand. I'll pull it up for you here in a second to have a bit of a look at, but this was $5. There it is there, the New Era brand. Um, goes on to sell pretty well. Gold Coast United, the soccer team that no longer exists here in my hometown of the Gold Coast. So for that reason, I thought there might be a couple of dollars on eBay for it. I've only paid the two bucks there. And then this was as I was leaving the store, guys. There is just a trolley full of shoes here yet to be priced up. So I thought I'd have a bit of a dig. And there we go, the Wave Rider 20s. Sure enough, I've been able to find myself an absolute beauty first up here in the bins. Um, this one goes for about 60 bucks. So I'm gonna try and push about 60 bucks myself on eBay for those ones. Ended up paying about $10. These ones here, the Nike, uh, well, we've got the Air Force ones. Have a look at that. These are a bit yellowed out, so I don't think I'm gonna go ahead with the purchase of those. If they were just the plain white, then I might have. And well, there you go. There's the plain whites that I'm talking about. So I went ahead and picked these ones up, guys. In the end, they charged me $15, but still, I think there's gonna be some good profit made. Rightio guys, uh, we are really off and racing. Some unbelievable finds there for the first run of the day. I did just want to talk about those shoes in the uh, Copper Drop segment on Instagram. The first ones are these Metcons, and you actually said in a really tight call to go ahead and drop them. And uh, I actually wanted to go and pick them up because I've sold them so many times before. I actually don't, I'm not concerned with 25 bucks because I know that they sell for about 60 or 70 and I've done a number of them. Um, so that one there should be a proven winner for me yet again. And then these ones as well with the Dame 4s, the Adidas basketball shoes. I know Damien Lillard is a super player. You guys think so too. 74% of you said to cop these bad boys. So I have. Never sold these shoes before. Never sourced them, the Dame 4s, but uh, they're in excellent condition. They're a US size 11 and I reckon I'll get my 70 to 80 bucks for that as well. So um, very, very interesting numbers there for the two Instagram viewer poll questions. I'm right here at the second run of the day and we've had a good start, but there is also a coronavirus pending lockdown that might be taking place over the next few days. So that means I'm gonna to have to open up my wallet and source a heap more items. So it should make for a pretty good video. We'll see you in a second. An absolutely huge start to op shop run number two. Check this out. We've got the G-Star Arc Slim. So the Arc Zip 3D Slim, the comps on eBay, upwards of $100 in pre-owned condition. These things are an absolute grail and I've just paid the 10 bucks for it. Unbelievable, guys. When you're finding your jeans, do look for the G-Star brand because it tends to go on to sell pretty well. Just make sure you know which type of G-Star jean you have because the price does differ depending on which one. Uh, found the Berkies. This is just a variation of the Birkenstocks. So there's some great money in them, as you can see there. Um, so I've paid just the $2 here, guys. They are only a US size 4, but I could not say no. My goodness, guys, here we go. The Asics Gel Kayano 26s as well, found in the same op shop. Have a look at the comps. This is the reason why I love selling these shoes. I did have to pay up for these ones, though. The condition of them being pretty good, but there was another for the third time today, another $25 price tag on a pair of shoes, but I just can't say no. Uh, we've got the tailor-made golf hat as well. We've done pretty well here with the hat so far today. This one should go on to sell for about $30 per the comps that I was seeing on eBay. So always look for your hats. That one was a good one. And then I've been able to find these. My goodness gracious. The, we've got the Jordan 5s, the Jordan Retro 5s. We've got the cement white colorway here. 
These are just a very slick pair of shoes. They are genuine too, I can guarantee you that. This is actually the same store that I found the Jordan 4s in a couple of months back, so I reckon it's the same bloke just dropping them off. And I'm very, very happy to have my hands on them and not had anyone else purchase. So I was a bit curious, considering the condition was so good, that how much were they actually gonna cost me? And I had a bit of a check, looked into the sole, and there it is there, $85 for these shoes, but there was one blemish. Somebody had chewed it. Some dog had got into it and chewed the shoes. Um, so that really put me off actually going ahead with the purchase, but it wasn't out of the question. I still kind of wanted to go ahead with the buy, so I left it up for deliberation for a couple of minutes, and I continued to have a look around, and I've been able to find this one as well, the Sony PlayStation 2 bundle, 19 games, two controllers, all the cables, $160. It's an Instagram viewer poll question because I'm not too sure as to whether or not to go ahead with it. It's 160 bucks. It's a lot of money. The comps on eBay aren't telling me too much different to what I'm seeing in front of here in the op shop. So, what would you do? Holy shit. Guys, what an absolute huge op shop run number two. Um, I've spent $250, and that has definitely never been done before. In a single op shop run, a $250 spend out of the one store. There is going to be a lot of money made though. I do believe that they all were good purchases in the end. You would have seen me talk about everything in that uh, detailed voiceover. However, I did want to talk about the Instagram viewer poll question before we keep moving to op shop run number three, and that is around the PlayStation 2 bundle. I've ended up copying it. There are 19 games. There's a console, controllers, cables, all in immaculate condition. I had a look at these discs and the discs weren't too bad. There were some light scratches, but nothing that was going to deter me from going ahead with the purchase. Now, I do want to say, a lot of you on the Instagram said to drop them, and I get it, it's 160 bucks. Potentially the resale's 160 bucks if you had a brief think about it. But I've dove into the numbers and I've had a quick look into each and every game. And Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, that game right there, PlayStation 2 Black Label, sells consistently for over $100. That one single game alone, that my friends was the clincher for me to go ahead and make the purchase. If that one game is worth 100, the entire purchase, even $160 if I don't get any discount, is certainly worth the purchase. So um, really happy in the end to get that. Then I went ahead and I grabbed everything else that you would have seen to lower the price even further. The entire purchase, $250. I am content with it. These Jordans, look guys, I don't know about them. I've just gone ahead and copped them. All the sneaker heads out there watching are probably thinking, why the hell did you spend 70 bucks basically on a pair of shoes when they do have the damage just like that? But I just couldn't help myself. You guys know how much I love my Jordans and I just had to I had to get them. When I see them in op shops, I just have to buy them. But um, look guys, let me know, out of everything that you saw in that run, op shop run number two, would you have done it for 250 bucks? Let me know in the comments below. Just say, op shop run number two, and then give me your opinion. Let's keep moving. Op shop run number three. Oh, I've spent a lot of money today, but oh, I think I might spend a bit more. Let's keep going. We have an Instagram viewer poll question to kick things off, guys. I've got the Gossip Girl book series here. There were eight books in total, $2 a piece, a $16 purchase here. I think a few of them, though, were first editions, which caught my eye, but uh, I don't think it was a complete set. I think it was eight, five of them being first editions. So let me know in the comments below, would you have bought this one yourself if you are a bookseller out there? Oh God, guys, the problem with the plush, it just continues again into the night garden. I found this plush for $3 and it actually goes pretty well on eBay. It sells for about 30 bucks, so I could not help myself. That went straight into my basket. CDs and DVDs, we've got $1 a disc here and I've been able to find this really good anime series, Log Horizon. I've actually got half of the entire series with these Blu-ray discs that you're seeing here. And the comps on eBay, well, they're pretty good too. So for a $3 all-in purchase, I'm gonna be making myself around about a $40 return when it goes on to sell on eBay. Anime, a really good category to be looking out for. Also found the Scooby-Doo series here as well. I've got seven DVDs. I sell these off as a bundle. We've got a $7 total purchase. I should be selling them for about 40 bucks again on eBay for this lot. About $10 to uh, ship them off. But uh, again, I've sold them a couple of times in the past. A Scooby-Doo, really popular. TV show, so that wasn't too bad of a buy. Speaking of too bad of a buys, we've got the uh, Waterman collection here as well. Now, I always look for this Quicksilver Waterman collection because I've sold it a number of times for some good money. I'll be going for about $30 for these, an $8 purchase, 32 waste, really good condition, tick, tick, tick. No complaints there whatsoever. Just a very staple, stock standard sort of an item that I'm always picking up. We've got the Sullivan as well. Uh, so this is a really good ski brand for those uh, snow bunnies out there. Now, we've got a total cost of $6. Um, if you bought this in the ski resort up in the slopes, you'd be paying about 70 to 80 dollars maybe even more so to pick this one up in very good condition the really nice blue colorway there as well I could not say no to that. That should sell for about $50. Believe it or not, I'm thinking 
talking about 50 bucks for that jumper. Um, oh, and these as well, just a really good pair of Merrells. I love finding the Merrells in the hiking shoe range. Um, these ones had ridiculous comps. Actually, comps that really kind of blew my mind. I didn't think you'd be able to get as much money for this set, but I'll be going for about 60 bucks on those, and I've only paid a couple of bucks in the thrift. Um, oh, and look at this. As I was leaving the store, guys, they, they pulled this out from the, uh, the staff section, and they said, Matt, would you be interested in this? It's extra large, and, and that is my size, my friends. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this one for myself. It was a $10 buy. You might see me wearing it in the future trip to the thrift videos. That was awesome. But they also had these two as well, which I'm going to be going on to resell. So David Smith, I spoke about this one. I think it was last week's trip to the thrift. Um, a really nice linen shirt. And that David Smith as well. So they will both go on to sell for $35 bucks a piece. Boy, oh boy, guys, we are having a very, very good day. There is no doubt about it. One of the best ever trips to the thrifts, I dare say, so far. Um, there was an Instagram viewer poll question right there, and that was the Gossip Girl book series. You guys have said, Matt, don't waste your time. Two bucks a piece, just not worth it. And I've got to agree with you. Um, I'm not really selling my books too much now. I was just curious because there was a first edition book series of the Gossip Girl series going for about 120 bucks on eBay that I noticed. So that, that kind of sparked a little bit of interest, but ultimately I'm not selling my books and I wasn't that keen. But um, just wanted to get your thoughts. So thank you very much for the feedback. Um, let's keep moving, guys. We've, like I said, we've had a fantastic day. So many great brands, so much money spent, that's for sure. Um, we'll dive into the last top shop that I'm here right now at. And uh, hopefully, we can end it on a high. I've jumped back into the DVD section and for good reason. There are a couple of really good bundles here that I wanted to have a bit of a chat about. The first one here is Charmed. Now we've got eight seasons of Charmed, but a horrendous $6 per season this set. So that's about $48 if you do the maths on eight times six. And uh, that's about what I'd go on to resell it for. So no, thank you. Also found this one as well, Instagram viewer poll question. We've got uh, two broke girls, $3 a piece for four seasons worth one, two, three, and four. The resale value is $40 on eBay. You'd be paying $12 in the thrift. Let me know if you would actually do that. Then I found some really cool footy boots that I have sold before. The Phantom Venoms, the Nike footy boots, $10 here. They aren't the elites that I've sold for a good $9,500 in the past, but they are still definitely worth the purchase at $10. Then I found the RM Williams pants as well. So this day is really just finishing off quite well. We've got a $10 purchase on these, and I reckon I'll be able to sell them for at least $40, uh, maybe even $50 per what the comps are saying on eBay. So that was a ripping find, a 42 regular waste. And then I found this shirt as well. Have you heard of this? brand before. Reese, R-E-I-S-S. Well, it's a $4 price tag on this thing. And I honestly did not know the brand. I just liked the look of it. It really just stood out to me. I did some comps for the brand on eBay and it sells for $180 actually, including postage. $180. I paid the four in the thrift. Nike Phantom Venom footy boots, RM William pants, and this Reese shirt that sells for $170 for four bucks. You can't write this stuff up. This has been the best three hour journey I have ever had in the op shops. The best trip to the thrift I've ever had. Let's call it that. that I'll title the video, best trip ever. Um, we did have an Instagram viewer poll question. That was two broke girls. And uh, we've now got one broke bloke because I've spent a lot of money today. But um, you guys have said to drop them and I agree with you there. Um, I, I typically like to buy my DVDs between sort of 50 cents to a dollar. Um, so to have to pay sort of three or four bucks each there at 12 bucks, they would have sold for 40, but I just don't want to soak all that money up into those DVDs um, when I can buy them for a lot cheaper elsewhere. So um, you never know. I might find that TV show for a little bit less. It was good to know that it sells for 40 and i am probably got to agree to make a $15 profit there off a $12 invest probably just not worthwhile um so that's everything guys we are done literally like i mentioned best trip to the thrift ever thanks for being here my 30 percent clubbers that are still sticking through to the very end of these videos i cannot thank you enough guys um i'll leave you with another trip to the thrift if you want to tune in to some more thrifting content jump over to this video right here because that was last week's episode i still found so many great items in that one not quite as good as what it has been today but still definitely something for you guys to check out thanks very much guys we'll see you in the next video